Section 25 news reporter Drew Creatus found out it's a decision that's going to cost the city a lot of money. Town right now. It's a spooky reality that those living in Salem say has given their community an ominous feeling, certainly not one they like. The tourism industry here is really carried through to October because of the Halloween events. We're able to go right through September and October. Hearing the news they already knew was coming solidifies the reality that this year's Halloween will not carry on as it has in years past. Large-scale events like the Haunted Happenings Grand Parade that opens the season and the Great Salem Pumpkin Walk officially canceled. They depend on this every year. It's sad for the merchants. It's sad for the townspeople. Salem Mayor Kim Driscoll tells us the city didn't have much of a choice. She expects the state will remain in phase three for the month of October, which limits indoor gatherings at 25 people and outdoor groups at 100. If you're expecting the same things that happened in Salem to take place, that's, that's just not going to be the case this year. Driscoll says it's a hit that could cost her city and the region millions of dollars on a year Salem had been banking on. Halloween's on a Saturday this year, a full moon, daylight savings. I think we were geared up for a really, you know, a really big event. Unfortunately, you know, this virus doesn't hold off for anything. In Salem, Drew Caritas, Boston 25 News. The city of Salem is still encouraging local visitors to come to town for scaled-down festivities this October and to come out and see the attractions like the museums, shopping, and walking tours. Fucking retards. <laughs> Unbelievable. Every mayor, every fucking piece of shit one of them doing their own thing. Fucking crazy. <laughs>